we've talked to customers that have literally cut their build times down from three hours to 20 minutes. So it's amazing. been really cool. Amazing, I know. So it's been really cool for them that they had these really long builds before and now they can just do it instantly. Hey developers, welcome to GitHub Checkout, your inside look at the latest GitHub features and updates that level up your workflow. I'm Andrea Giffes, Senior Developer Advocate, and today we're exploring something that is sure to change how you build and deploy across different architectures. We're going to dive into ARM64 runners for GitHub Actions. Joining us is Larissa Fortuna, Product Manager, who's here to show us exactly how these new runners are going to transform developer workflows. Welcome, Larissa. Thank you for being here. Hi, thank you. Thanks for having me. So I'm super excited to dig in, but first I need to know what drove GitHub's decision to expand ARM64 runner infra, especially right now? About a couple years ago, we started seeing this growing trend coming from developers where more and more developers were asking for the ARM architecture. Then when we actually started going down the road of, okay, we want to support ARM, like how do we go about doing that? It really led to this kind of series of releases where over the past year, we've launched ARM in a variety of different ways. Uh, we started with launching our ARM64 runners on our larger runners product. Then from there, uh, the really exciting ones for me came this year. So in January, we launched Linux for free in public repositories. So that made it available for open source. And then the most recent launch uh, was Windows for ARM. Um, so that one came in just this past April. So now we have Windows for free in public repositories as well. A big part of these releases and a big part of this journey has actually been our partnership with ARM, the company behind the architecture. We knew we would need a VM image to put on our runners. They're the ones that have actually built our Linux and our Windows image for us oh. that we install on the runners, yeah. These images come with a bunch of pre-installed tools on them so you can get started really fast and really quickly using the runner. You don't have to spend a lot of time in your workflow pre-installing the tools yourself. I, I love to know what surprising use cases you've seen now that you know they've been out and developers are actually using them. We had a very popular open source project. Um, they're very big in the ML space. Um, mm -hmm. And they wanted to be able to utilize ARM for their CI/CD in conjunction with GPUs as well. So they were kind. They moved over to ARM, and now they're running on ARM, and they're also testing on LLMs as well um, on the GPU runners and using those together. So that was a super cool use case that I heard about. And this is really good news for open source projects, right? Because as I understand it is free for public repositories. Yes, exactly, yeah. The minutes are unlimited. Uh, the only limits you have are just con is just concurrency, just like regular actions runners. That's amazing. Okay, well, can we see it in action? Uh, have you got a demo for us today? So the demo I'm going to give today um, is I'm gonna walk you through a workflow that basically just streamlines the process of building and deploying Docker images for multiple architectures. So this particular example is valuable for teams that are developing applications and they want to be able to deploy those and test that their application works on multiple different environments. Um, so here, I'll just kind of walk you through what this workflow is doing. So we're matrixing out across a Linux ARM and a Linux x64 runner. We have two jobs here. There is a build job here. And then at the bottom, there's a merge job. So first, uh, the build job, what we're doing is we are logging in to both GitHub Container Registry and Docker Hub. So we're going to push the image to both of those registries. We're using the Docker buildx action and the build and push action to build and push our images. Um, then once we have built our images, we're ex exporting those digests and uploading them as artifacts. Then we get down to the merge job. What the merge job does is it downloads those digests that we just uploaded. Um, it logs into the registries again. Then it does the important step here is this creating the manifest list. So this is really the core of the job. And what it's doing is it's creating and pushing a multi-platform manifest list. So this list essentially just tells Docker which architecture specific image to pull based on the incoming client system. And as a final step, we're just inspecting the images to make sure they look good. So I will run this. I'll kick it off here. 
So now this, the job they're starting and you can see there's both the, this is the X64 job and this is the ARM64 job and they're happening at the same time. So some of the key benefits that this brings is basically auto automated and accelerated deployment of these images. The multi-architecture support is really big since we couldn't do that before. And then finally reduce build time. So really by utilizing the native ARM runners and building a single image, you avoid running this entire workflow multiple times. And like I talked about before, if for certain customers that were using emulation to get this behavior before, we've talked to customers that have literally cut their build times down from three hours to 20 minutes. So it's amazing. been really cool, amazing, I know. So it's been really cool for them that they had these really long builds before and now they can just do it instantly. So yeah, I will see we built both those images now and now it's merged and it's done and it's passed. And that's the whole thing. <laughs> so a lot of people don't know about this, but ARM processors have actually been shown to be 30 to 40% more efficient in the data centers than traditional X64 servers. Um, so what that really means is that ARM is using, when they're sitting there in the rack, they're using 30 to 40% less power. So just by using ARM processors, yeah, you can, become more carbon efficient um, and more carbon aware, um, and you can help reduce your carbon emissions. So if you as a developer or if your company has certain sustainability goals that you're trying to meet, just by moving to ARM, you can start taking small steps forward um, to start meeting those goals, essentially. And there are open source tools out there that you can use to me actually measure the carbon emissions of your actions run. It's just an action that you throw into your workflow. So you can do that and actually test like, hey, is my X64 run using more carbon than my ARM64 run? I love that. We have to share that action so folks yes. can test it out. Yes. And then you can be the sustainability hero of your company. Yes. Larissa, for teams that are new to ARM development, what resources would you suggest for them to help them get started? My workflow run itself, there's actually a GitHub Actions workflow run on Docker's website. Docker provides a really great example. So one of the members of the community took that and uh, edited it for their purposes. And I just forked their workflow and kind of edited it for my purposes. So if you're looking for really good multi-architecture examples, there's some on the doc Docker's website. And then as well as there is a repo that I can share as well that I forked my my workflow from. Um, the other thing is that we have a community discussion specifically around ARM and a lot of really cool open source projects are in there and they're sharing tips and tricks and people have been talking with each other about how to best move to ARM and start running their multi-architecture builds on ARM. Okay, folks, so definitely go check out the resources, go to the community discussion and take advantage of these projects that are sharing their experience with ARM. And thank you so much, Larissa. I appreciate you coming by and showing us this. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Thank you everyone for watching and go test out ARM. It's very exciting. <laughs> and that was your first look at ARM64 runners for GitHub Actions. Drop a comment below and join the discussion. Let us know how you're gonna use these runners. And if this was helpful, please hit that like button and please subscribe to GitHub's YouTube channel for more feature updates and dev tips. Push these changes to main and we'll catch you in the next release.